say affordable price, the Stitch and Sew Editor Plus software gives embroiderers a great deal of capability who aren't necessarily looking to digitize in-house but have common needs such as editing and uh, quick fixes or doing something that's easily done in-house which is custom text, something that you don't you, you really don't want to outsource when it's easily done. So using the Stitch and Sew Editor Plus, let's do a quick demonstration of how we can uh, get those things done. For lettering, simply click on the lettering tool uh, across here, which brings up the lettering control panel. And to do a lettering job, we basically follow this, uh, all of these tools going from left to right. First, we'll type in some text. And you can see as we type, the program shows um, the, the text in, uh, in outline format. And we can pick from any of the available fonts here. And uh, we can also set the height. Let's say your customer wants this to be three quarter of an inch high, so we type 0 0.75. And uh, we can do other things to the lettering as well, like bold facing, italicizing. There's even some frames that will let you uh, change the, the arrangement uh, of the text. So we'll show that momentarily. But uh, first, um, once we've got everything set up, uh, we can pick a color if we want the text to be something like uh, maybe a blue and hit OK and hit stitch it and uh, this is now in a stitch format. And you can also see um, your stitching in a uh, flat view or realistic view and also see it in the view where you can see how it's going to sew in the sewing order. You'll also notice that your text also appears or whatever you create down here in what's called the object list. Now the object list shows you basically in a film strip type format the order in which everything is going to sew and what's happening between each. For example, this is showing that there's going to be a cut uh, between each of the letters so that they're isolated and there's no connecting thread. But in the example here where this is so close, you can actually edit that connection, which you can do with, um, you can actually do with other stock designs as well. And you can insert trims uh, wherever you want to. In this case, let's remove that trim. That's between the Y and the O. And you can see when I hit OK that now a tail appears between the two of those letters. So just as an example of the things that you can do, you can also, for quick custom effects, even grab your letters. And I'm just going to grab the Y and the T here for a quick drop cap effect, for example. Just give you an idea of the customizing capability of the program. You can even grab the letters and reposition them, either using your keyboard to nudge them or just grab and move. And you can even rotate your text by and clicking on uh, a selection and then uh, putting it in rotate mode. and making adjustments like this. Finally, you can also change the color, for example, by just uh, selecting whichever part of your design you want to change the color on and click on your color swatch and just pick a different color. And by hitting OK, instantly you have a uh, two-color uh, design as an example. And you can see the film strip shows this. Other types of layouts in, in the text that you can do in lettering And let's pick a, we'll start over here and pick a different font, maybe a times type font. And let's say that we want to put this on uh, an arc. You can see that using any of the different uh, available frames, you can change the shape, the shape of the layout in case you don't want a standard straight across uh, lettering. You get five lettering frames with your editor plus. Here's one example where you can actually uh, put the text on an arc. And you can see that now that that's on an arch that you can, um, a template that you can basically adjust the shape to uh, uh, curve it any way you want to, even put the arc in, in any point of the circle. And then finally, this is just a template when we make it into stitching, you'll see that uh, the arc goes away, leaving the text in the layout that you want it. Finally, we also show monogram capability. You can see that um, there's some monogram fonts in here, like uh, let's pick one such as Oval Monogram that comes with the program. And uh, clicking on the monogram tool, we'll just type in some letters. 
And you'll see that when you're in this monogram input, that it'll actually automatically adjust the left and right letters so that they fit the standard uh, familiar monogram format that's so popular um, and is uh, really a big part of customization and embroidery. So now I pick a different color and just simply hit stitch it. And uh, now that's in that monogram format. Finally, when you're finished, you can actually customize the output, such as one of the big things with a professional embroidery program is the ability to adjust the stitches for different kinds of fabrics. And to accomplish that, you can edit this by playing with the settings, which include the density of the stitching, uh, different kinds of supporting stitches, um, pull compensation, and other important settings. Or you can do this automatically by, when, when you're finished, simply go to uh, Design and Apply Fabric, which gives you a library of preset fabrics. Pick the one that's closest to the fabric you're going to sew on. Let's say you're going to do this on a fleece uh, jacket. So I'll get a pullover, and you can see there's a polar fleece. And you'll notice that we're at 2167 stitches for what we have. And if we zoom in, and if we zoom in before we do this, we'll take a look at the stitches as, as they are now. But when we go to design and apply fabric and pick that fabric, let's say again we're going to do a fleece jacket. And 2167 stitches, we hit OK. And notice that the lettering got a little bit thicker and um, there's a different stitch count. It's adjusted for that kind of fabric. And that saves that preference for you. And then you can always come back to it and change it. So that's uh, the, uh, quite a bit of uh, custom text capability. Now moving on to the editing capability. Editing lets you edit other designs. Um, let's say that you've downloaded something from the internet or uh, somebody's digitized something for you and you want to make a quick change. Let's go ahead and open a design here. And uh, this is a common design that's often uh, done for police and fire. And let's say, for example, um, in the, this actual example that somebody had, they wanted to delete the ladder uh, off of this uh, Maltese cross design. And uh, we can actually edit that out by, you can see that this is all one section, but you can actually cut out sections of a design so that you can use uh, different parts of the design. Let's first uh, pick up where it starts. Actually, this is ending right here, so we're going to pick this, um, move this forward here to that last stitch and cut. And you'll notice now that it's cut into two pieces. But now we want to go ahead and back up. Uh, that's where, the, so we've got the stitch from where that start, um, that ended. And uh, let's keep on going back to where it starts. And now we'll cut it here too as well. You'll notice when we hit cut, now we've got a separate ladder that we can then delete out. You can actually select it and move it around. And now we can put something else um, inside it. So also in this example, let's go ahead and make this a nice recognizable color. That uh, the customer actually wanted the customer actually wanted to have some text inside the uh, uh, the parts of this cross. Uh, for example, we can do quick custom text on this to add to the design. So. Uh, We can simply add that in, and if you wanted to, you can actually even do a uh, quick arc just to really fit this template out. And making it a stitching. Now let's make that into a different color just to give you an idea of what the program can do. And then uh, let's put uh, adding more text. So this is actually based on an actual design that a customer uh, had to do that we kind of helped them out with. You can see this is a bigger word, so we can easily adjust the size of the word to fit our actual assigned area. And uh, let's go ahead and arc that underneath.
And so you can see how easy it is with the editor plus to uh, create um, create some of the uh, custom text here. So that was just warning me that uh, that particular uh, special character I accidentally typed was not available. So some fonts may not have everything, but we do have letters and numbers with just about every font. And remember, we can actually arc the text too. So, um, so we or arc the text and rotate it. So in this example, we'll rotate this around. Again, um, all kinds of ways to change the layout of the text so that it uh, so that we can um, have a lot of customization here. So we're just matching the arc in this case to fit the sh uh, shape or the artwork that we're working with. Okay, zooming out, you can see what we've got. And there's easy custom text and the custom stock design um, uh, to give you quite a bit of capability, again, with Stitch and Sews Editor Plus.